Welcome, uh, Major Freak. Uh, it's kind of not really gameplay, but trying to figure out where I've been. How how noob am I? Um, and how long I've been playing the game now? I started the game back in February, mid February. I played it. I this is the end of my first day, and I haven't done. <laughs> thing I had no no clue uh, a month later uh, I a month later I uh, I tried it out again um, and it looks like I was pretty successful in figuring out what I needed um, right away and I stuck to it same map actually all all for the two months um, and pretty much stuck to this is just kind of really funny because of course this is not optimal <laughs> right here they need to be uh, not paired up but uh, separate and, and I've got e exits both directions so I'm like yeah <laughs> um that's not good um I have an ore scrubber and a sink I I do not know. <laughs> I think it was like, ooh, new thing. How do I use it? Do I need it? And then I built a whole philosophy around it, which, of course, is completely unnecessary. It was pretty funny. Uh, and I've got arb two arbitries. My God, two arbitries. Wow. It's not even modded, so it was complete luck of the draw that I got two arbitries in the by turn cycle 50. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, I wouldn't personally choose them over other things but <laughs> there you go it was kind of interesting um um i've got a i've got a piddling little farm <laughs> um it's pretty cute <laughs> how many dupes do i have one two three four it's turn 50 and I've only got four dupes. It's like, oh, wow. Maybe I've got six. <laughs> Woo. All right. And a couple of, gl a few glimpses now of what I was doing uh, early game. I had a concept. I did well with it. This is my, uh, day one and a whole bunch of stuff and I kind of kept to it. This is a, a day 30. It's inter It's kind of funny that I have two, I, I, I found it hilarious I had two coals but only two batteries. It wasn't going to work out well. <laughs> and I've got, I've got no idea about temperature management or pressure management or anything whole bunch of collection modules down here. Okay. <laughs> I really like pack rat. Yeah, it's pretty funny. If I'm interested, I want to definitely try this uh, map. You know, see how I do it now that I've improved in my gameplay somewhat. Uh, let's pause that. And yeah, just checking out how I was doing so the whole month of April I was doing that uh, still pairing them up like this uh, by the end of April so this is a this is two weeks in <laughs> mealwood and hydroponics lol bit more gonna <laughs> I just love my containers move them down a wee bit or that's it's probably the same spot but yeah uh, I started getting my hatcheries up uh, hadn't really learned anything about it yet concerned about hydrogen that that was my main focus I believe uh, this early on uh, probably two week old new uh, realizing I needed to deal with hydrogen you know you did, did wisdom from the mouths of babes you just it's easy to figure out gravity and which way things go uh, what the heck is that <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, 
yeah, just basically the same starting idea. Um, I've got a reserve water and then my main, main water. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm definitely going to consolidate those early on. Um, yeah, but yeah, it, it's just, wow. <laughs> so this is this is the biome uh, it's pretty neat um, I my first instinct is to ooh look copper and I definitely go right down I would make this water and this water after the first couple of days um, after I've dug down I would make this my water area I would just drop all the water down here. I would probably consolidate this water as well. It looks like it can easily get that flowing down here. Oh yeah, totally, right? And then I'd get this water to flow down here as well and collect it all down here. Might as well, right? And then you've got this entire area to dig out. Uh, doesn't... Doesn't look like there's a lot of huge. Oh, well, that's a lot of algae right there. So yeah, it, it it'd be fun. I definitely want to uh, reload this map and and see how I do compare it because that's kind of fun to see. You know how a more experienced self can uh, deal with it. Um. Yeah, and this was uh, pretty much the the peak of where I was at. This was uh, what uh, May seventh. Yeah, I was into May. I played for a month, then I quit playing. So I'm about a two month old noob right now. No idea why I had that. Um, probably because of polluted oxygen down there. I have no idea. Yeah, it's just polluted oxygen, polluted, polluted. And of course, all this is probably polluted. Uh, I, yeah. Interesting. Where do I have any algae? I don't. I must have used all the nearby algae and well, whoa can't use that anymore <laughs> still using the paired up uh, I don't I was pr oh medical bay that's what it was uh, that's hilarious and high-tech too like I ever got around to using it ever lol and of course that's a hospital room good going me and then the kitchen the mess hall and it's a great hall very small great hall um, I've still got six dupes and <laughs> it's turned 70. Wow. Uh, got the farm going. Yeah, it looks pretty decent, but by turn 70, I need more than that. I'm surprised I, I lived how much pickled me. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, I've only got... I've only got a few do how many dupes do I have? Six dupes. There you go. See I'm I'm still a noob. I still I, I'm looking up here a lot, but I'm not knowing these facts a lot. I can't go I'm guessing and counting dupes instead of looking up here. Pretty funny. Um Yeah, six dupes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I've got all these. Yeah, that'll that'll help. Do I have an egg cracker? Oh my goodness, I've got five hatcheries <gasps> wow that's pretty impressive <laughs> a cracker no 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 a cracker <laughs> lol <laughs> i i have must i must have watched francis john uh youtube creator because i would never have thought of this myself this is so early on <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, apocotheory, apocotheory, or however you say it. 
I'm sure I should look that up. Wow. Yes, definitely Francis John's setup for sure. Um, hydrogen. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was going for the slicksters because I was like, ooh, slicksters, and and wanted to make this place hot and get them sheared. Uh, I'm pretty sure that gives you plastic. I'm not sure, but yeah, definitely, definitely was focusing on focusing on that instead of uh, uh, slicksters. Uh, whereas you know, currently I'm I'm trying to farm slicksters from the printer or slickster eggs should I say so <laughs> so cute oh my god yeah very interesting well I I definitely have no worries but where's my egg cracker <laughs> that's too funny yeah yeah, it's like, ooh, um, I forget the, what they're called, uh, dre Drecos. I was like, ooh, Drecos, and I wanted to experiment with that, and I'm having their food there, and oh my god, what a hoot. Personally, compared to uh, Slicksters, uh, <laughs> yeah, Drecos kind of suck. <laughs> keeping them fed and keeping, yeah, it's just... Yeah, all kinds of uh, funny. I think this is my ore deposit, my other ore deposit. Wow. I'd be interested in going back and and seeing uh, and seeing my save game to see how I did my wiring and plumbing. It's like, what the hell? Did I have any vent? I don't even think I had any ventilation. Did I have any vents? No, I mean, this is probably the only ventilation thing I ever did. <laughs> from from the pump to the... <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's quite ambitious. Wow. And I had the mod for the, uh, the clay, and I'm not... Yeah... Totally cute. But I, of course, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't, I don't have a kiln. I had no idea how to deal with the clay. I'm like, ooh, clay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, where's this at? This is turn 80. Turn 80 with six dupes still. Wow. Oh, there's the kiln. I was like, ooh. And that'll do the heat, that's for sure. Uh, kept the, that was a good idea, actually. But yeah, I don't... I had no idea how to, what was needed uh, that needed uh, plastic. I thought uh, exosuits and stuff needed plastic, but apparently they don't at all. So, yeah, it's very... Uh, I've got my ooh, I've got my auto sweepers up, but no, no automation yet. No egg cracker. <laughs> oh, too funny. Do I eventually get a egg cracker? No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too funny. Oh boy. <laughs> I was looking at automation. Oh, cute. So, back in May before I quit um, playing for a while, I was looking at automation and probably my brain melted. Uh, too funny. Oh, this is this is so funny. This is this is a, <laughs> a reaction video, just very short, just five minutes long. I, I want to be careful. I want to make sure this does not overpopulate the carbon. Oh! <laughs> what? 
When did you die? And... How did you die? Why did you die? There's no reason for you to die. You don't have... It's not like you were blocked access. Why did you die? <laughs> oh, yeah, you were. <laughs> Uh, the joys of uh, AI pathfinding in this game. Pretty funny. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, no egg cracker. It's <laughs> hilarious. I must have gotten an egg cracker. Yay, finally got an egg cracker. Woo, yay me. <laughs> and I think this is the last time I played this map. Um, and then I stopped playing for a while. Look, I've still got six deeps, but I've got room for nine. That's That's ambitious of me. <laughs> Oh, and I was trying my best to get pips to lay down all my plants, right? But I had no idea, none, zero, that pips are really sparse in what they plant. So, yeah, it, it would be interesting to take advantage of pips to uh, lower the maintenance on... Yeah, because look, I mean, I did, I didn't need any, uh, any polluted water for my thimble reeds, and if I could say take advantage of that again and get a pip to plunk those down, so I can dedicate my sewage system to arbor trees, and then thimble reeds could be scattered throughout my farming area using pips. And the way I have it currently set up, I do have a ladder system that would give access to the entire thing without having going through doors for all the pips. So that could definitely take advantage of that. That's that's a thinker. That's for sure. That's something worth pondering. I'd totally forgotten that I'd done that. I was very frustrated that I kept blend more. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too funny. Actually. That is how many squares? That's one, two, three, four. There's a four space between each. Hmm. I could probably take advantage of that for sure. Wow. Like, my current setup here. I, I didn't make any videos of this making this happen because it was a lot of not I wasn't recording at the time I was just basically renovating com over and over and over again uh, my current uh, playthrough and the the major yeah there was just a complete renovation really um, I <laughs> put in a huge um, <laughs> uh, great hall right here just the maximum I could uh, rethought my I was putting way too much there's they cost 200 metal per each one of these i'm like holy you gotta be kidding me so i chilled using i was like you know you've seen it it's masses of them so that's where all my metal was going um these are all made out of gold uh these are all made out of gold these are all made out of gold everything's insulated here i've actually got thermal reactive between the two and am using the large batteries to help boost the heat to keep this above 60 degrees so the slicksters will drop um, the, the ideal uh, eggs for me. <clears throat> uh, this is all different types of uh, gas and I'm pumping it up through here and through here and anything that needs to be filtered that anything at all is getting pumped right through here up through here and then finally the carbon dioxide my my one my one plastic 
um, module is the the high pressure vent. <laughs> yeah, it's a game changer for sure. Uh, but yeah, the uh, I yeah, hopefully I can get a lot more of them by turn a hundred. Uh, you get three eggs or one slickster, and the eggs are preferable. So anytime I'll see eggs, I'll grab them. Um, I've been I've been ex extremely uh, careful about uh, save scum re-rolling using that that mod. Uh, it's it's been helpful um, because I'm sure in certain situations, eventually it, I won't really care what I get really. Um, and I won't, I won't need the mod, but for now it's, yeah, it's basically still feeling my way. I'd rather have the option of, of tailoring my guys and, and having the illusion that, that I have some sort of advantage from doing that. It's just, it's just my own stupidity. <laughs> uh, this is basically a Francis John, uh, setup. I've of course modified it now i don't have the mess mess hall up here i've got um a drowning area for when i'm switching over my uh um from from the normal hatch hatches to uh the stone uh i shoved in these and i had the skill scrubber and the exosuit over here but it was just browning out my system so I isolated it to, you know, the high powered, um, circuits. I, when I renovated, I split up my, uh, batteries into three groups, uh, one, two, and three in early game. Of course, it's going to be a little different. Of course, uh, usually what I'd have is this not built up yet and have these four and these four and just pair off these two, these four, um, to the other manual. I've got three manual generators and that's what I'll do. Um, I decided on. Uh, I tried to clean up the clutter because all this was horrible decor so I've improved it to the maximum I could. Uh, heat management is a big issue. Not so much pressure at the moment. Uh, I have dealt with the high pressure. That was my only concern. Uh, the low pressure, I understand now that I was using too many airlocks that was preventing, say, these guys from getting the necessary pressure they needed. Um, I was starting to actually, uh, I'd gotten, last playthrough, I'd gotten very used to using oxygen masks. Uh, finally getting off, like, using oxygen masks where appropriate. <laughs> and not wasting my dupes time <laughs> um yeah i've really learned a lot about uh this area and the plumbing and the self-sustained uh toilet system feeding my arbitrary i'd gotten rid of the thimble reed uh i'll definitely put it in here and speaking of let's see so if i put if i get the um pips to lay one there i'll leave a I'll leave a natural there. And the thing is, it'll be all dependent on... Um, I'll probably get the mod to put in. I know there's a way to manufacture it. Uh, but yeah, I'll look up the mod. I've ripped a couple of mods out uh, so far that I didn't really like. Um, it just... Uh, unnecessary um, trim down the mods as much as possible but yeah if I have one there one two three one two three four five one there one two three four five one there perfect and then depending on sand and stuff I can I can move this back and forth in this line to make sure I I haven't hopefully there's not a lot of sand uh, I might have to consider where on either side to put uh it once i retry this i'll think about it um but yeah definitely lots of leeway there wiggle room um yeah i put my hospital 
area right here um, and then I've made a, a root out and then a root out here uh, blocked it off here um, got all the gold I could down here um, there's some the wheeze warts are in that direction um, yeah it's it's working out really well now I'm I've learned to repair my oxygen mask by doing forever on worn masks there and yeah I discovered I I should really get uh, snazzy suits up as quick as possible to get bump up the morale um, this is working really well I've learned to disable this feeder once the all the polluted uh, dirt is gone it, it'll happen when uh, the mama uh, poke shell uh, creates a baby and they both start eating and that'll drain the food really quick so I won't have any excess polluted dirt I yeah I really interested in having uh, two arbor trees they use I think half what a thimble reed does so if I can have the thimble reed scattered by pips here um, and then have uh, the arbor trees fed by the sewage system I could probably have two arbor trees and I think that'll allow me to run one lumber uh, generator which is a wood generator uh, wood fired uh, which creates a lot of uh, CO2, which is perfect for my slicksters, because I'm pretty sure once I get up, you know, really high up there, it's they'll start consuming at an alarming rate. So, um, yeah, I really really like the the setup it took me a while to uh to get it all um i've got not much automation in fact as little as possible um most of it's down in the the spawn the self-powered um oxygen maker uh the decor as you can see is great um really took pains to uh ensure that most of my tubes are getting decent um plumbing is really interesting actually i've got the radial for keeping the slicksters happy um i've got a, a web of stuff coming out this i've already drained this water i've put in a pump and drained that water um or is am draining that i'll uh i'll definitely uh, well, this was a bit too ambitious. I mixed the two of them, which is unfortunate, but I'll have to be super careful. But yeah, I could definitely go like this diagonally and make sure I don't dig into the polluted water area. Um, yeah, and it basically got the zigzag stuff for the, for the sewage system, but I'm really happy what I've got right now. I have this here because if I don't, it'll start backing up this way um so yeah <laughs> uh, this will this will make it one way um really happy yeah as you can see one arbitrary is easily fed by this um and of course i've got the overflow here that'll fill up and the airlocks so it'll it can fill up to there and i won't really worry about it too much um hoping for another uh arbitrary in the uh, they don't drop seeds very often, so yeah. Um, I've never seen one. So yeah, uh, definitely from the pr printer pod. So get two of them up. That'd be awesome. Um, that would suit my needs. I think two of them would handle... Now, remember, I've got 20 dupes right now. So yeah. <laughs> um see now yeah I've got places to put this stuff I haven't figured out what to place here um, I could be I could actually be tempted to place my gas in here um, and that would allow me to avoid a lot of 
gas up. Yeah, I mean, could I potentially set up that I can have the gas in here? I'd have five, I could trim it down to four. I don't really need it. I could have a gas vent over here and just vent it to the atmosphere over here this way as it brings the Well, the hydrogen's over here. So I'd probably have one for the hydrogen, but I could definitely put in the gas reservoirs here, um, feed it through here, and then send the rest that way, you know? Um, and since I haven't got hydrogen up yet, it would, yeah, totally doable. I mean, why not, right? But yeah, definitely something to think about, but yeah, this is feeding the hydrogen uh, feeds up here goes through here in the first one uh, feeds a second uh, optional I usually disable it if I don't have enough hydrogen and it the other sends it down here and into here self-powered and then the oxygen goes up here uh, feeds through this gas uh, the op pure oxygen goes through here to all my systems and yeah I mean this, I believe this is chlorine and then natural gas or, or natural gas, chlorine, polluted oxygen, oxygen, and that's any extra is fed up into the back, uh, the rear of the Great Hall. Uh, it hardly ever happens, but yeah, when you're first setting it up, um, you'll, you'll get some, you'll, you'll have to filter out this area first, right? So yeah, that'll, that'll deal with it. Um, yeah, I've got my oxygen mass ports, right, docks, there, 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 and there. Quite a lot of them, but at this point uh, with the spod, it, it'll it do it. And I don't need a pump anymore. I was using pump action, and now I've got the spawn to do it for the oxygen, so that's pretty cool. Um, decor, plumbing, double that, temperature, yeah. <laughs> temperature. And did I show the power yet? Probably not. Yeah, this is my power. See, I've got, eventually I have the hydrogen, which connects all three grids. But if I don't have all three grids, just disconnect all of them and they be isolated to this one right here. And then this one uh, would be connected eventually to these four and it would power this stuff and down here and then if needed I, you know I just disconnect this wire uh, when it's started up and if but I, if I need to prime it I just yeah use that to prime it up here is just easily right here just that and then this big one deals with uh, the gas vents and yeah, honestly, I need the gas vents over here, not over here. I don't know what I'll put in this space. I've got these. Um, I, don't, I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, but it would be good to take advantage of this area. It's, you know, it's free space. Um, and this power outlet goes from here, goes all the way over here and deals with everything on this side of the map up here. Um, just because it's very power intensive and I've got the extra power so why not um yeah that i really like that idea and i definitely cleaned it up massively like if you watch the end of the last playthrough just this massive wire bridges all over the place it, it was horrible for decor it was pretty funny and you had pipes and tubing and gas all through this because i thought if you hit it behind the ladder it wouldn't count it's in you know I don't believe so. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Um, so that's that. Let's uh, continue on. And yeah, and in November 20th was when I started up, uh, came back to the game since May and started up again. And that's basically half my playlist. Um, so the first half before fresh map is just that same map over and over and over again uh, just stumbling around being a noob and afterwards um, I just
yeah, just try to take advantage of this particular map, and it was interesting. Um, I, let's see now, I got, I was trying to make smaller and smaller episodes. Um, oh, I'll just mute. Alright, um, yeah, um, current mod review, let's see now. Oh, welcome to, did I post some, what's the name included? I need your freak, and I'm just doing a wrap up. Nope, I got rid of keep sinks. So this mod uh, properly, but actually what happened was I had it at a vast clear, uh, which I thought meant... Certain amount of time. Yeah, deselect new materials is helpful because I'm terrified of mixing my polluted dirt and polluted water. So, so we're good there. Um, I think I've listed all these mods yet. I'm trying to vet them. Get to quick vent. Actually, add the link to the collection. Do it slower. Once I do it slower. <laughs> So double bed didn't work. Uh, insulated self sealing way too overpowered. Um, haven't used the pipey pipe sweepy dock, but yeah, the the fact I couldn't pipe anything out of it was really annoying. Um, I'm happy with all of the all of the mods I've got. Um, not sure about this one yet. I'm sure it's bigger building menu. I think I got rid of that just because it's just I'd rather have a minimal UI. It, it it's nice, but at the same time, I'd rather have a minimal UI. Okay, not, see, not the clutter. Uh, this one, um, I find I use the smoothie to be very minimal, so I don't like it. So maybe I'll keep it. Um, better deselect. It's working kind of. Move this here is very particular. I find it useful um, just because you can plant it right away and then you can remove it. You can, it's like you as a player can put it there and it's built and then you as a player can remove it and it's taken away and stuff drops. So I've, it, I've used it rarely uh, a lot less than I thought I was going to because at first I was like oh this is going to be great but you really don't it, it's easier to get your it's it's more fun to get your dupes to build stuff and it's it's useful um, I thought it would be great for dealing with when you deconstruct your your old toilet system but I found now that I know the game a bit more that it's not such a nightmare of contamination everywhere. Um, so yeah. Um, better info cards, really nice. Default save settings, not really. Uh, definitely keeping that one. I saw it working. Uh, I haven't used the configurable mostly the sensor range yet, videos, but I'll definitely, session, definitely get into that. Bigger building menu. Uh, I haven't got to that yet. We'll see if I need it. <laughs> I'm really happy about it. Don't idle indoors. Uh, I think I got rid of it. I found it didn't actually work. Uh, it might have worked. It might have worked uh, in past batches, but for me, I found I was like, wait a minute, they are idling indoors. So, yeah, no. Uh, I just if it's not working, kind of worried that something in the mod might be screwing with other stuff, pathing. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I might not use it. Uh, I'm thing on the fridge pod. Skills and status of progress. That is really cool. Actually, I haven't really looked at. Really helpful. Uh, pause on very print. Really helpful. Uh, yeah, I think delivery. that's uh, it for what I've seen. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm trying to trim it down. Uh, I'm a person who knows that if I have. If I have to have a hundred mods on a game, then the game's not worth playing, you know? 
I mean, it might be in certain situations, but once you get up there, you're like, this is no longer the game that the developers intended. <laughs> So yeah, uh, new mistakes. I love watching my new mistakes. If you want to have some hilarity, I, I try to, if I see something that's hilarious that I've made a mistake on, I'll definitely like start doing the new mistake videos. Those are fun. Um, the plumbing was interesting. Learning about plumbing was really uh, a, a game changer uh, once Francis John and Magnet explained it to the viewers and I watched what they were doing it was like oh I haven't gotten to a complete understanding but the mechanic of uh, input output and priority flow and all that stuff is starting to come together and when I see a problem that something's happening that I don't understand I can use that understanding to go oh that's probably why and and then I can put in a bridge or uh, a valve or something with an input output for itself and that fixes my problem so I forget what the strategy was all right welcome to oxygen not included I made your freak so this is sort of just after my plumbing uh, epiphanies. I haven't reloaded uh, um, the end of chapter 16. Uh, where is it? Chapter 17? I forget. Anyways, uh, my last chapter. Um, I just had the plumbing epiphanies. Uh, trying to get the overflow working right. I have. I need to uh, deal with the kiln and deal with this. For yeah, some this is basically reason. what I'm what my what my issues are not my, my not my priorities mainly but mainly my issues okay that was interesting so strategy and then i <laughs> then i make another one because i was like oh right i forgot to talk about the other stuff um mainly probably priorities and stuff that i needed to deal with um and let's play chapter 18 yeah, I'm still on that. So yeah, the, the latest chapter. Very soon. Yeah, it's basically I, I think I got to here and was like, started to screw around and start to renovate power and stuff. Um, Yeah, I started to experiment with renovations, and at that point, I realized it was just too messy, and that it would just be really confusing uh, to <clears throat> to viewers as I just continually messed around with it. Uh, and it's hard to, it's something like that. It's hard to, uh, as a noob, a two months old old noob playing this game. Uh, to explain what I think I'm doing because I would probably make it worse <laughs> for the viewer. So, yeah, since uh, December 19th, it is the 22nd. So the last three days, I've been screwing around uh, with just renovating uh, the layout as best I could. Uh, wiring, plumbing, vents, everything you saw the pictures so yeah uh that's where i'm at right now two month old new uh still enjoying the game um spending a lot of time on it but then i spend a lot of time on any game i like uh so yeah um no no interest in playing another game for the moment uh i'll probably uh, any like you know uh, any other Steam game. Uh, I'll most likely take a break just to just to unwind from the massive amount of theory crafting I've been doing. And I always find that's important to uh, maintain longevity. 
so yeah that's that's where I'm at uh, I've got the mods all set up I'll start anew um, with this seed right here and then once I'm happy once I go okay this is really working I've got experience at it um, how well it can go for me and I go hmm this is really cool then I'll try my very the very first seed I did um, back in May and April and see see how you know compare it's like oh yeah totally I should have been doing this and stuff like that that would be fun you know because that would be that would put in context like that would be make it worthwhile to have all these videos up you know just to just to go back on the seeds and and after I've done that then I'll be interested in actually playing randomly like you pre you know it's a procedural generated the developers intended you to play a different map every time so that'll be fun just to start switching up where you put things and and i've been able to modularize everything now that i okay i need a i need a farming thing that's uh, nine tiles high i can put it anywhere and then it's i think it's 16 across what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen across all right it's the doors and the wall so 17 by 9 right so oh probably 10 but whatever yeah 17 by 10 uh and yeah it's like it, i can put my my spawn anywhere i can put my power power generation really needs to be beside um my printing pod because when i first found the six slickster i got a live one not an egg and i needed to encourage it to get into this area so it'll definitely be right beside my printing pod for sure um and everything will pretty much revolve around a few ideas like keeping keeping the hatcheries uh, nearby my main oxygen areas uh, and the oxygen areas being where i keep my barracks and my toiletries and my mess hall and my kitchen and and the farming needs to be close by too to keep it uh with oxygen so my dupes don't get uh, problems breathing in there because it's quite in labor intensive in there uh, i think yeah it's just just making sure i can have my uh, continue the idea of a uh, division of labor labor for the manual generators um yeah all this stuff really interesting and of course when you see me first playing it's very it starts to be very, the the terrain uh i'm very timid in how i move and that i'm not like if i when i play this map again i'll be like right you are you are moving we are moving <laughs> we are relocating this stuff and not being a slave to the train as much that's for sure i'm not on the level of you know the good players where they're like right we're ripping everything out <laughs> for me it's still okay i need i'm a bit i'm a bit hesitant uh, but yeah it'll be it'll be fun to see my progression of of how less timid i am uh with ripping things out yep so yeah it'll be fun i mean this is this is really I love the idea of being able to just throw random gases in one direction and be confident that I get what I want at the end phase when I vent it out, uh, the carbon dioxide and everything else is dealt with. That That's really comforting that I can go, okay, I'm just going to uh, vent this because i was worried at first uh, good when i first did it it was all messed up before i had it stable that it was just a, a mishmash of stuff and you know, everything was going in here and it was really annoying um because yeah they take a lot of carbon dioxide um yeah uh haven't i i got oh um, 
most important thing, I think, is to talk about the plastics. Uh, I, at the end of the day, um, I'm not sure if whether I've got, I think I might have gotten a printer drop for plastic, but I got at least a hundred. Uh, pro I probably got, let's say I get a hundred plastic per uh, uh, per a hundred, I mean, sorry, every hundred cycles, I get a hundred plastic. So that's, that's not too bad. I haven't actually done any oil, uh, um, oil biome stuff yet. Um, I haven't really tackled any of the biomes with any, I've always, uh, I'm more comfortable going after the, the hydrogen biomes than the slime biomes, but I'm able to do it less with less fear now, uh, especially with the slime biomes. I discovered that as long as I don't dig up a slime, it won't emit polluted oxygen, which is really cool. Um, it enables me to uh, grab more of the gold um, that's next nearby and stuff, and the uh, and the igneous anyway yeah um learning that stuff that's really cool um yeah pressure temperature those are the two big things that when i look back on my playthroughs i'm like ah um and the food and getting the dupe population up um in order to take advantage of their waste products to feed certain things which is really cool um can't think of anything i i think this is gonna i'll probably uh graduate these two to exosuit but i've only got at the moment i haven't really i've got a ton of skill points i haven't really used them much but and skill scrubbing to get people into more suits and and dig that and really start to expand but this is basically the idea of my self-contained unit um yeah yeah um i'm fairly sure i can manage what I have at the moment I could probably it's the my worry my worry is that if I have too many exosuit checkpoints that well I'm sure a dupe will try to go back to a dock that is free that it can put away its suit so it won't have any pathing issues. The issue I had with oxygen masks was that if I had too many openings for them, they might come back in the base with the oxygen mask still on. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but yeah, it's just feeling my way around getting more comfortable using the oxygen masks and the exosuits and um, making sure that I control the escape of gases. As you can see, it's just Un completely uncontrolled uh, I wasn't caring because I was uh, renovating so much and just experimenting um, I really like this airlock right here it is the idea is so cool I might put it up here as well um, and possibly here as well and contain things that's definitely I I hardly have used it but I really like the idea um, having that that other one that that short smaller one um, the insulated self sealing just felt a little OP this feels more uh, more immersive it doesn't feel as OP it feels like okay I've got to sacrifice a bunch of space for this and I can't uh, yeah so it's, it's kind of neat I, I kind of like that idea um, really like this bomb. Uh, management is a bit tricky, but I think I've got the hang of it. Uh, four ha um, incubators will be what I need. I mean, 
that'll support 20, um, 20, and I've got seven maximum for all of these, so that's 21, so yeah, it's, it's working out great, um, I just need a way to, um, oh, I think I'm fine there, um, I'd like to graduate to drowning the eggs eventually, uh, I think I remember how to do it, watching Francis John uh, videos, the evolution chamber, he calls it. Uh, it'll probably, of course, be up here somehow. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. This is definitely would be morphing into um, uh, the egg drown at uh, the evolution chamber thing up here. Um, but that would need automation. And I've had bad experiences with automation so far, but I think after watching it, I've I think I watched a couple of videos on it. I'll need to watch more. I feel more comfortable using automation. Uh, I think I got I was overthinking my automation. So yeah, probably take advantage of that. That'd be great. Um, yeah, I might have to rethink my location, but I think I can automate. I'm pretty sure. I probably have to rearrange this stuff to be a bit closer to the sweepy. Like, if there's four, I could easily place it, like, I could easily place it over here and have the oxy ferns over here, and that could easily be done. Um, I'll think of something. But yeah, easily renovated over here um, for the sweep dog. I mean, not the sweep dock, but the auto sweepers. Uh, really like the wheeze warts. Uh, I'll be digging this direction ASAP to gain them, uh, control my temperature early on, and that'll keep a lid on anything crazy. Um, these out gas out vents are raising the temperature in this area. It hasn't gotten to the point of uncomfortability. It's like less than 40 degrees. And I, as you can see, I don't have any plants or anything that'll wilt or, and the deeps are perfectly fine with 40 Celsius. I mean, not 40 Celsius, but whatever the temperature was uh, that, that they, they use. <laughs> Derp. Anyways, I think it's very high. I've got 40. I don't know, I forgot. Don't really pay attention. It's just a number to me. All right. Uh, yes, definitely taking advantage of the heat producing uh, I like this. I might switch these to smart batteries, but so far the heat down here hasn't got out of control. Like it, you know, like taking advantage of the heat here to make them really hot. Um, and these, these are gold for sure. Um, but yeah, these, this is okay. I haven't really converted them. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'll think about it. It's, it's something I know I have to do because it's like, wh why don't you, right? Uh, it's less heat and but I'm like eh um oh and the the containers uh, I've switched to all these are dirt all these are soil all these are sandstone and all these are sandstone and then I've got dirt and all these and then these um will probably be for uh sorry rare um, actually I'm putting, so I've got, these are all my rare, right? The granite and the in, igneous. So I've got all this space. So I was like, Hmm, what can I put in there? Um, what I want to do is put in algae in these and then my metals maybe go in here like algae one, two for those two. And then have 
have metals and extra mis miscellaneous stuff here and seeds and all that stuff um, plastics and all, all the uh, bits and bobs here uh, this would probably be another algae maybe so algae algae and algae for you know that or yeah and probably dirt yeah just keep it simple as simple as possible really uh, for the containers so when I look at it I know exactly what's filling up and not wondering uh, is this you know when I was renaming stuff so if I do it this way like dirt and soil and sandstone I can instantly look down there and go oh okay I could just see a level of what we've got what I've got my dupes have yeah um I've been very timid as you can see uh going up here um, and very timid about going down here very timid about going this way not so much this way when I was renovating I was like ooh wheeze warts and I just went for it um and after once you go that away for a bit you're like hey what are the places gonna go so definitely m most comfortable going in this direction so yeah it'd be interesting uh once I play through this again which I will um after a break um, then I'll try my first seed uh, map and see how I do there and I'm like oh, okay and then I think about that a lot and then once I've got those two experiences under my belt which will probably take another month of playing uh, then I'll start playing pure procedural stuff and and the random maps and have fun with that that'll be fun and that's probably when I'll rip out the the printer prod reroll uh, mod uh, that's that's the last OP thing I'll be ripping out and then after that it's just mostly quality of life there are a couple of like the skill progress stuff is for it's a it's a stats thing it's it doesn't improve skills and the hatchery thing that not the hatchery yeah the, the hatchery skill buff is just to make sure that when you're grooming you get skill boosts because otherwise the only real skill boost you ever get is hugging incubators and <laughs> since you don't power them yeah um yeah that's about it uh, the water situation is amazing i was always afraid of uh, draining my water um from electrolyzers and from the sewage system um from uh, I was using water for this um, I'll be disabled uh, I forgot to disable it while I was renovating but yeah this would be disabled this self-contained this actually makes more water than you put into it so if you leave it alone it'll eventually overflow it's amazing so this is like a water generating thing well polluted water generating thing but it's amazing um so i there's no worries about this ever using water anymore unless there's a mistake you know um this generates water right here uh this of course generates uh doesn't it doesn't kill water what kills water is um electrolyzer um and and this and your plants of course but this plant will take care of itself the other ones the weeze uh, the, the weeze warts these are draining my water slowly so this this is the main water destruction right here and these two so a bit concerned about that but as you can see it's turn 200 and I, I I think I've gotten all the water I can over here now so yeah it's I'll be using water rapidly uh, while using wheeze warts, so I'm a bit concerned about it. Uh, I don't know how I can generate more water. I'm sure there's ways of doing it. Like maybe can I can I convert polluted water to well, I can use a sieve, can't I? I can use a sieve, but it'll be pol germy clean water. But it's not like I use water for food production. So
so I don't know. I'll, that's that's my main focus on learning now, creating water or converting polluted water to clean water, um, and what I can use polluted water for, um, and avoid using um, a clean water for that. Um, I know I've tried using polluted water for the metal refinery, except. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit of contamination stuff, and I hate contamination. I know Francis John says not to worry about it too much, but it's just, uh, I just can't do it. Not yet, at least. Um, yeah. Uh, using the metals, um, I'm getting more comfortable using as much iron as I can. Uh, it doesn't seem to have much... Uh, iron seems like copper so close though so I think oh I need to use copper and irons for something else but irons actually should be your basic building block instead of copper because copper gives you decor bonus for it so yeah I'll definitely be thinking about where can I replace the copper with iron for sure uh, that's about it um, hopefully I I made it comprehensive enough so I can rewatch this at some point and go, uh, okay, there was my brain mindset at the time, and I wasn't thinking of X, Y, and Z yet because I had no idea. <laughs> I was ignorant of those more advanced concepts. Yeah, because I've got, I'm producing, I'm producing um, uh, natural gas. I have no idea how to take advantage of that. Um, my plan is to store it and store anything like chlor chlorine, storing chlorine, storing natural gas, and then later figuring out what the hell to do with it. I'm assuming that I can, can I can water sieve um, polluted water, send it through um, a chamber with liquid containers and douse the, uh, flood that room with chlorine. That's definitely in the works. Where I put it, probably nearby, like um, all this polluted water down here. Maybe I would pipe the, depending on, you know, I mean, depending on my plumbing, uh, or sorry, my gas routing and plumbing and all that stuff I have to figure out how to do that but that's probably my next learning curve is to convert polluted water to pure water so I don't run out of pure water and that that's probably sums it up right there that's my long-term learning curve right now uh, worrying about running out of water but otherwise I'm getting a little more confident about expanding and it's kind of cool Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and see my future self. Yeah, I'm such a knave.